Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropical Adventures, here to do a ghostly fragrance review. So what are we going to talk about? So full disclosure, the fragrance we're going to talk about was sent to me, however I am going to give you my honest opinion. Before we start, why don't you go and hit that subscribe button. Why don't you drop a like at the end of the video if you liked it. You can unsubscribe if you don't like the channel. And of course, leave a comment in the comment section below, especially if maybe you'd like to see me maybe do a live with Ursula and talk more about this fragrance house. All right, so what are we talking about? So we are talking about Ghost Ship Scentporium. So I stumbled upon Ghost Ship Scentporium and I really liked what I saw. Uh, affordable fragrance, of course, tobacco. We're gonna talk about a tobacco fragrance. And I just, I like the stories, the whole, like everything, the way the packaging, everything was set up. I thought it was really cool. So I typically don't do a whole breakdown of packaging and all that because I really care about the fragrance. But like I've always said before, if I do it, credit where credit is due. So let's check it out. So the fragrance comes in this really cool box. It's like that emerald green, it's this ghost ship. And then this is actually really cool. The inside, in person, this looks really, really cool. But it's got that really cool pattern and it just pops. And then the fragrance comes in this little velvet pouch that says ghost ship. And the fragrance we're gonna talk about today is 1929, which is inspired by Al Capone in the Prohibition era in Chicago. On the back, you've got the notes. So the notes we're looking at is Holy Basil, Cigar Shop, Leather, Gunpowder, Rain, and Vetiver. It's kind of a just a generic uh, square bottle. Cap is really on there. We're gonna spray it. All right. So when I talked about this, when I reviewed it over on Instagram, I kind of painted this whole picture because I've always enjoyed movies about, you know, the gangsters in the, in the 20s and, you know, Al Capone, all that kind of stuff. Prohibition, I'm a big fan. I like Boardwalk Empire. All that stuff I thought was very cool. You know, basically people were trying to make ends meet. And I mean, look at one of the most famous families, the family of Camelot, right? JFK and his whole family, they made money off of bootlegging. Okay, so all the stuff that these gangsters got in trouble for, one of the most famous families that went on to become our president they were you know doing bootlegging so you got to do what you got to do sometimes during hard times anyways so this whole fragrance i painted this whole picture because that's kind of how i imagined when i smelled this fragrance there's a kind of a lot going on um so i picture you know it's it's got a uh it's got a rain smell kind of so it, it's i get like an ozone smell which we actually have here going on right now in Southern California, we just had a huge rain. It's still really dark and cloudy outside. Um, so you get kind of like an ozone, fresh rain smell and that vetiver. So I picture that like on, you know, cold streets, you have the rain hit. You know, I picture, you know, Al Capone or 1920s gangster, you know, going to a speakeasy, knocking on the door, they pull that little slat open, they look, they let you in if they know who you are. You go in, and then I, you know, I picture you've got the smell of this resin of, of gunpowder. So I picture maybe you, you know, you you collect money. You know, you're you're go to do a pickup and the pickup goes wrong, and uh, unfortunately things get a little messy. You have to take care of business because you got to bring that money back to the boss. So you've got that smell of gunpowder on your hands. You've got that ozone smell from the rain. Things aren't going so well. You want to just take a seat at your regular table. Of course, you're going to have your back against the wall so you can see everything going on inside. And as you're sitting there, you pull out a nice, rich leather case that's got some of your most prized cigars in it. It's been a hell of a night. Someone brings you a drink. Of course, the drink is on the arm. It's on the house. You sit there with your whiskey. It doesn't have a booze note, though. But in my story, you're having some whiskey or some bourbon. You pull out one of those cigars, you light it up. Hey, you survived. You made it through the night. You made your collection. You brought it to the boss. You're gonna get paid and you're still alive. So you've got all of those 
heavy smells. You've got that leather, that rich leather. If you know, if you're a cigar smoker, either you've got a nice humidor at your house, but if you like to smoke on the go and you're really smoking cigars, you probably have one of those nice three cigar holder pouches, okay? And if you're really a baller, you've got maybe an alligator skin one or you've got an ostrich. I've seen all kinds of really cool, you know, lizard skin, rattlesnake, all kinds of stuff. In my story, it's rich leather because that's what I smell, nice rich leather. And then you've got that gunpowder smell, you've got that ozone smell, and then you've got that tobacco, which it's not a super dark tobacco. I enjoy a Maduro cigar. Those are my favorite. Absolutely love Maduro cigars. Um, but you know, if I was to rate it on my tobacco scale, one being horrible and 10 being the best, my favorite tobacco smell, I would probably put it at a six. Now the fragrance is in a six, but on my tobacco scale, that's not bad. It's just not my, I like like a Maduro smell or a pipe tobacco, but it does definitely have some nice, it's not green tobacco, which I'm not a big fan of. Really nice cigar tobacco mixed with some of that wood. So when you walk into a humidor, you've got that wood with that, that tobacco leaf smell, that's what you get. Mix all of those notes together and that's what you have in this bottle. And it just, it really paints a picture and that's what I really enjoy about this fragrance. It's the overall. So I've said this before in some reviews, this would really meet the needs for someone who's into the artistic nuances of a fragrance. So what is the story behind it? So that whole 19, you know, 29 gangster era, that's the story behind this. Al Capone, the gangsters, Prohibition. Um, I like the packaging. The packaging is really, really cool. The bottle is a little bit basic, but it's fine. The packaging that it comes in would make for a great gift. It is very, very beautiful. I absolutely love this. The smell of the fragrance is really nice. It's 30% oil concentration, so you've really got some nice projection. The longevity is eight hours easy. And the price, let's talk about the price. It's 36 bucks, can't beat that. I would take a look, like I said, look in the comment section below or the, the section below with the link to uh, Ghost Ship. Check out all their fragrances, there's a lot. And there's all really cool ghost stories and stuff behind these fragrances, which is really cool. So I enjoyed 1929, uh, it met my tobacco needs. As you know, I love tobacco fragrances, so I enjoy it as a tobacco lover. If you like tobacco fragrances, you're gonna enjoy this fragrance. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please check out Ghost Ship. Check out my link tree below. It's got some cool discount codes to a couple fragrances, some rings, a couple other things. And then in the comment section, if you'd like to see me try to do a live maybe with Ursula from Ghost Ship, I think I might do that on my Instagram. Um, I would kinda like to talk more about her fragrances and, and her whole concept of how she came up with this idea behind the fragrances. I think it's really cool. It's very different from anything I've seen. So I appreciate you guys watching like always. Follow me over on Instagram at Monkeys Tropicals Adventures. And I would appreciate if you enjoyed this video, go and subscribe to my channel, drop a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you for another review. Take care.